arrested him for cheating on, or for killing his wife. <laughs> they were interviewing him. He went to the bathroom. He didn't realize the mic was hot. And <laughs> it's he's on right now. And he's admitting to killing her. So I won't do that. Hey, everybody. Custom Mike's here. We are at Santa Maria Fair Park. And we are uh, going to interview Craig and his awesome little car. And, uh, yeah, I want him to tell a story. It's been around for a very, very long time. And uh, I want to kind of honor some of the people that have been driving their stuff all over this world. And here's Craig. Thank you for taking the time. How you doing, Mike? I appreciate it. So what's the story on this thing? How long have you had this thing? I've had it for about 30 years. 30 and years, there were huh? four guys before me that had it. Yeah? Yeah, the, uh, the original guy, I can't remember his name, but he was in Paso Robles, and he had it for a while. He was the one who chopped the top. Okay. And then uh, Red Spence. Red Spence, huh? Red yeah, Spence, yeah, yeah. that's, uh, you know, what's his name's father. And he got it, yep. and he channeled it. And he's been channeled like six inches. Wow, look at that. Big step up. And it yeah. still looks pretty comfortable in there. No, no, it isn't. It is, ab <laughs> it is absolutely not comfortable because the, the floor is so high. My knee is up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the time I get somewhere, my neck looks like a saxophone. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's still better than John Saltzman's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he might as well sit in the top and then reach to it. Um, and it's, you know, it, it is comfortable, but not for like three, four hours. Yeah. You know, and I'm up in the mountains now, so that's, that's a, an eight-hour drive. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Well, the uh, things you do for the love of customs. That's huh? right. That's right. Love so, the pinstriping. Who did the pinstriping? Do you know? Pinstriping was uh, Tommy Herrera. Really? Yeah, he goes by Diablo now, but yeah. Another famous guy. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we're all famous in our own minds. Yeah. 62 Chrysler? 61 Chrysler. 61 Chrysler. Right, they're the same. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, when I got it, they had the doorknobs on it, and I never did like that look. So okay. I got it. These are the stars off of a Pontiac uh, wheel cover. Or not wheel cover, but uh, fender skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the 57 had three stars. So yep, I, yep, I, right. emptied out, I emptied out uh, the guy's uh, Repop collection yep. on there. And the grills around, you know what that's on? Yeah, 61 Chrysler. Oh, that's on the headlights, Chrysler, yeah. yeah. Now, okay. when, when I got it, um, what I did, one of the things I can take credit for, is the normal F100 comes up down straight and goes in. Okay. And you end with this big triangular nothing there. Okay, so yeah, this I looks did, really nice. So what I did was, you know, we cut it. Brought it down, then that was too short, so we had to add some to it. It was, it was a yeah, whole lesson. Get the flow right. In, yeah, it was a whole lesson in geometry, but it was fun. Well, that's the whole thing about customs too. Is harmony and flow are so important, and many times there are uh, modifications that are done that most people never see. That that or a ton of work. Yeah, there's a ton of work, and yep. nobody ever gets credit for it. But it, it, the car goes from from cool to exceptional. When those small little details are yeah. handled, and if you look at this front end, the flow is just beautiful down into that. And I like that little bump that it has at the end. Yeah. You know, that, that brings it up, like kind of right about there. It comes down and goes up and over. It's a design feature that looks really nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I just put, uh, put some new tires on it, and it's about an inch lower than it was, and I'm learning the hard way that it's slower than it was. Oh, but yeah, it's a little scuffy. Yeah. But you know what? That's, uh, I have a couple of scars, too. I've been around the block a few times, and, you know, you can always fix them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? And yeah. the funny thing is, there are so many people that trailer their cars and get them ruined in the trailer. Yeah. So you might as well have driven it in the first place. Exactly. You know? If you can't drive it, yeah, let's don't get bring it. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love the way that the fender rolls in like that. Yeah. And the lake pipes and the, yeah. What was, uh, you know, um, who painted it? Um, guy in San Leandro. Guy in San Leandro. I call him Big Smoke, big huge guy. Yeah. Um, was working for somebody else and opened his own shop. Okay. And I probably was one of his 10th or 15th uh, customer. And that's... 15 years ago. 15 that, that years. That is 15 years old. Yeah, 15 years of driving. Do you know approximately how many miles you have on it? Whew. Well, it was my day-to-day -day commuter to wow. South San Francisco for four years. So I bet I put 50,000 on it then. Yeah. 
And then oh, I did the that. dash. Myself. You did the dash? I That's did the a, dash. My wife commented it. It's just the most beautiful thing she's seen in a long time. Yeah. Very nice. And the steering wheel? Steering wheel is, a, is aftermarket. Okay. I just like the look of it. It's, yep. it's, it's a one year only uh, Ford something. I don't know what. Uh... And the gauge is beautiful. Yeah, we'll get a headliner drool. Like that little light too. Is that a red jewel? What's that? The, the yeah. dome light? Well, there was one there. That's actually out of like a 39 Ford on the sides. There. Okay, yeah, I thought they looked different. Yeah. You know? Beautiful. I love the baby moons and the white walls. Yeah. Totally traditional coolness. All smooth in the rear. And uh, static lowered. Air shocks. Air shocks? Well, Air that, shocks. Yeah, old school. Yeah, and. It was a pain, but now you can buy these battery-operated little pumps and bring it right up. To <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Makes it a little easier to yeah. have, right? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Is there anything else you want to give credit to for this? Um, like I said, Red Spence and then another guy that was in a club had it. And when they did the uh, Rotter's Journal, the very first issue, this truck and my 39, remember the 39? Yeah. Were on the table of contents. Wow. So I kept telling us, Kenny, you, you got to sell me your, uh, your truck. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, sell me your truck. Oh, no, no. I said, well, <laughs> don't get mad when I build one that looks exactly like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, about a year later, he came back, okay, you can buy the truck. <laughs> you can buy the truck, yeah. <laughs> he, he found a murky <laughs> one to build. Yeah, let me catch your emblem, too. Yeah, proud member, Satan yes. Angels. Customs and rods, it's very cool. Yep. Well, Greg, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time with us and Pleasure. sharing about your car. Yeah. It has been an inspiration to me since I started coming back in the mid 80s. So, <laughs> thanks again. You take care, brother. Yeah, you too. I've grabbed a. Oh. There you go. All right. Thanks again. Well, there you have it. Traditional thing. He's been grabbing it around for like 30 years, you know. And yes, there's a few scuffs, there's a few uh, doodads, and, but you know what? He still drives it. And uh, we're very grateful for it, too. There's another um, survivor over there with 50 years on it that we're going to talk to later uh, once we catch him. But this is some of the fun stuff that we're doing. Love you all. Saying bye from uh, Santa Maria Fair Park uh, at the West Coast Custom Cruiser National, the 42nd annual. Thank you, Reed Pichette and uh, Penny Pichette and all of the West Coast Custom members and volunteers for everything you do. Love you all. See ya!